So hello friends welcome back to the channel. Today in this video I am going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of Redmi Note 9 Pro, Pro Max, Redmi Note 9S and Poco M2 Pro. And this process is applicable for Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco devices. Today I have the Redmi Note 9 Pro and I am going to unlock the bootloader of this device. Now before proceeding, make sure you have backup of all your data because when you unlock the device, all the data will be erased like photos, videos, whatsapp, contacts, etc. So make sure to backup everything that you have in your internal storage and your accounts too. For that, you can use Google Drive backup or store your files offline into a hard drive or a pen drive. So now let's get to the process. Now the backup is done. In my case so i will just proceed to the next steps so first thing is to add your mi account in the device for that you need to insert your sim card into the device so i have inserted the sim card into the device and make sure the sim card has an active recharge now the next step is to turn on the developer options for a second let me show the current version so currently i am on mi 13.0.2 and now what you have to do you have to turn on the developer option so in the about phone tap on the miui version for six to seven times until you see no need you are already a developer in my case i have already turned on the developer option that's why it is showing in your case it will show you are now a developer now the developer mode is turned on now i will need to add the mi account in my device and yes you can add the mi account before turning on the developer option and right here you have three options like the first one is mobile number the second one is facebook and the third one is google account so i will enter the mobile number so let me just sign into the mi account So you can see I have added my MI account into the device. Now get back to the developer options. So in additional settings, here is the developer option. Now in developer option, turn on the OEM unlocking and the USB debugging. Here you can see. So these are the two options that you have to turn on. Now after turning on these two options, go to MI unlock status, click on agree and click on add account and device. You can see the account is added into this device now the next steps are into the pc so let's get to the pc and guys make sure to not remove the mi account until you get the bootloader unlock even if you get a timer around of one week just don't remove the mi account if you do that you may lose the access to unlock bootloader or something like that so now let's get to the pc now in the pc you have to make sure that the fastboot drivers for your device in my case redmi note 9 pro is installed and now go to chrome and go to this website of me unlock tool and the link of this website will be given in the description now just click on download me unlock tool and the latest version of me unlock tool will be downloaded so here you can see i have the me unlock zip i will just click on extract to a folder so here you can see i have the folder now in the folder click on the me unlock application and just click on agree now enter the me account that you have added into your device so i will just use the qr function so let me just go to the mi account and let me just scan it so i have scanned the qr and guys i have forgot to tell you that this entire process is on sim card so don't connect your device to wi-fi just make sure that the sim card is entered into your device here you can see the 4g is on in my device so after scanning the qr code you will get something like this so i have to enter the verification code here so you will instantly get an otp then click on submit then click on sign in and it is saying that the code is expired so i will just click on refresh here then just go back go to mi account again click on scan qr code and here you can see the login was successful finally so it is showing that the device is not connected so now what you have to do just hold the volume down button and power button simultaneously to reboot the device into fast boot or you can just click on reboot then hold the volume down button to reboot the device into fast boot or bootloader so you can see the fast boot mode is active now what you have to do just connect 
your device with the PC and it will show phone connected. And again guys I want your attention that all the data of your device will be erased so make sure to backup all your data like photos videos whatever you have on your device so now let's unlock our device so just click on unlock and it is saying that it will erase everything so make sure to back up everything and the timer will start and you will see some percentage so you can see the unlock was successful and the phone automatically rebooted and here is an option to reboot phone but we don't need that because the device is already rebooted so our device is successfully unlocked and in this case if you get a timer in the screen just wait for that time period and after that time period try to unlock your bootloader it will be unlocked easily so don't worry for that and you can see here we have an unlock sign and it is just removed right now so the unlock sign means your bootloader is unlocked and the phone is rebooting now now you can just remove the usb cable and just close the application in your pc so after several minutes the phone is finally booted now i have to set up the miui so this is how you can unlock your bootloader of redmi note 9 pro pro max redmi note 9 s and poco m2 pro and this process is applicable for any xiaomi redmi or poco device so this is it for this video now i will post videos about flashing a custom recovery and how to root the device so if you found this video helpful make sure to do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the custom rom updates so i will see you in the next video bye bye